Hello. Fancy seeing you lot here. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'd completely forgotten about my search for something that was going to run DaVinci Resolve. I thought I'd try Arch Linux. You might as well come along for the ride. And if the, you find this useful, please give it a thumbs up. So on my desktop, I have a, another keyboard and mouse and I'm running Arch, Arch Linux. So let's get logged in and have a look, shall we? That's orange. That's very orange. Anyway. So let's have a quick look at this while we're playing around. So I've done a few basic installs on here. So what have we got? Got our XFCE terminal, even though this is GNOME. Here we go, GNOME 42. So it's, a, it's not the latest one, is it? I can never remember. GNOME versions I, I can tend to get lost with. Anyway, so we've got Audacity. Let's see how old this is. 313, that's the latest one. Oh, I'd forgotten about my coffee. <sighs> if that doesn't become a GIF, I don't know what will. Okay, so Audacity, yeah, excellent. What else have we got on here? Ooh, music. I wonder what that is. So we've got our LibreOffice. And it's running what version? 7.3 is the latest. Cool. That's uh, nice. Where's our lovely web browser? Where are you? There you are. Let's pin you to the dash. Doesn't like my audio device, does it? But, go away. Can it handle 4K? Bit of stuttering, but it works. Look at that. That's quite impressive, actually. I would assume it would be better at 1080. That's smooth. Anyway, so that's Chrome. We've got GIMP on here somewhere. If you see it, let me know. There it is. Two ten, believe that's the latest as well. Soon find out. Let's check the website. Two ten, yeah, cool, nice, and I believe I put OBS Studio on here as well. Yeah, there she blows. Yeah. So let's take a quick look. Static. I should plug a webcam into this so you can see that it actually works with a camera. Don't think I've done that yet. Maybe I will. I've got a Logitech somewhere. So anyway, that's working. I don't know if that's the latest though. Have a look. Twenty-seven two four. Twenty-seven two four. That's pretty cool. So that's the latest version of OBS. Not bad. I'm not a fan of GNOME. I'll be honest. I would much pr prefer to use KDE Plasma, and I could have installed that instead of this, uh, but I didn't. We'll get onto this in a minute. DaVinci Resolve. 
but there was something I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Software. Let's have a look. Because the one thing that... And it is there. And this flat pack stuff just works. I'll be honest, though, there is a massive elephant in the room when it comes to Arch, and that is the install process is, well, it took me four attempts. Let's say that. Um, which is not the greatest of user experience, but you know what? It's up and running. It took me about an hour's worth of searching the web to find a decent tutorial on how to do it. Which maybe I'll convert to a video. I don't know yet. Um, possibly. He's snoring. He's actually snoring today. Okay, so let's have a look at DaVinci Resolve. Fingers crossed it actually launches. I'm not hopeful because no splash screen has come up yet. It's gone away. It's gone away. I mean, it is entirely possible that it's opening on another. Nah, it's not. Okay. So let's have a quick look at this music. I'm guessing this is like a, a local music player. Anywho. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to do. VLC. Let's install that as well. I don't want to install. Why not? It's installed. Okay, that's rather interesting. Probably no music. Yeah, I'm not going to have anything in here to actually play, but. Never mind. So if I can't use DaVinci Resolve, what have we got here? So let's see if we can find something instead. Now, I know what Robo Noogie would say. Use Caden Live. Never used it. Never even looked at it, to be honest. I think I opened it in one of my videos, but that was about it. Hmm. It's a lot to go through, but... Yeah, don't really... I guess the search goes on, but in all truth, I believe the hardware is holding me back. Jeez. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's disappointing, but what can you do? Um, search continues, guys, I believe. I mean, it's fairly snappy. I'll give it that. It doesn't lag. It's quite nice. Yeah, it doesn't. Doesn't see my hardware. It's a pain in the bottom. Of course, I am running this in a VM and not on hardware. All the same, I have found that it doesn't really matter. And I don't really know why. I think it's got to be graphics, to be honest. One day, I keep saying it, I know I keep saying it, but one day, I'm going to. Chuck 
an SSD into my main PC and try that. So for those wondering, trying it on Xorg makes no difference. Doesn't like me. Doesn't like me. Never mind. As I say, search goes on. Maybe this will help somebody out there. I know it's a, a very specific use case, but hey, that's um, that's what I've got, a very specific use case. So we shall see. We will find one, I'm sure, once I've figured out the correct hardware. But, you know, we'll, we'll keep going. Um, for now, I think that will uh, conclude this video. Disappointing again, but say la vie. Hope you find it useful, guys. And, and if you do, please just give it a thumbs up. I do think that Arch is very snappy. It's very up to date. I like that. Just a pain to install. Um, so, yeah, I do like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe and click the uh, bell notification to get notifications of when I release new videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.